Hello and welcome to Inside Science. The main aim of our program that is Current Affairs Booster is to channelize your preparation in such a way so that you can score a better mark and clear prelims in one go. Let's start our discussion. The first issue is Deaf Connect. So the Ministry of Defense had organized the inaugural session of Deaf Connect 2019 to showcase the accomplishments of the Innovation for Defense Excellence, that is IDEX initiative in New Delhi, IDEX portal and Defense India Startup Challenge, that is DISC3 was also launched. So this is the program that is strengthening defense through innovations. It was the main theme of this program. So and the what, what is this innovation uh, for defense ecosystem that is IDEX? IDEX launched in 2018 and it is an ecosystem to foster innovation and technology development in defense and aerospace. It is very very important by engaging innovators and entrepreneurs to deliver technologically advanced solutions for modernizing Indian military. What are those core objectives of this innovation for defense ecosystem? First is indigenization and second is innovation. So it provides funding or grants to MSMEs, startups, individual innovators, research and development institutes and academia to carry out research and development. IDEX is funded and managed by Defense Innovation Organization. It is very very important. The next is Defense Innovation Organization that is DIO. This DIO is in not for a profit organization. It is important. Formed under Section 8 of the Companies Act 2013. So it is funded by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited that is SAL and Bharat Electronics Limited that is BEL. Guys, under Ministry of Defense, uh, this nine kind of organizations are operating. And guys in comment box mention under which public sector sector undertaking it is uh, there. Whether it be uh, Navaratna, Maharatna or Miniratna, please mention in the comment box. But uh, they are same kind of organization. This is the hint I am providing and please mention in the comment box. And it provides high level policy guidance to IDEX. So then Defense India Startup Challenge that is DISC. It is aimed at supporting startup, MSMEs, innovators to create prototypes and to commercialize product solutions in area of national defense and security. It has been launched by Ministry of Defense in partnership with Atal Innovation Mission. Guys, in prelims 2019, one question was there on Atal, Atal Innovation Mission and we will discuss it. The vision of the DISC is twofold. One is prototyping and second is commercialization. So under DISC 3, three challenges uh, from the Army, Navy and Air Force were thrown upon to prospective startups. So the, this question was asked in prelims 2019 that is Atal Innovation Mission is set up under the first option is Department of Science and Technology, Minister of Labor and Employment and Niti Aayog, the fourth is Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. The right answer is Niti Aayog. So let's move to the next issue that is Surang Bawadi. Guys, these Bawadis are very very important in the light of water conservation techniques. The Surang Bawadi situated in Bijapur, Karnataka and has entered the World Monuments Watch List under ancient water system of the Deccan Plateau of the World Monument Funds. We will discuss about this World Monument Funds. This Surang Bawadi is an integral part of the ancient courage system of supplying water through subterranean tunnels. And what is this courage system? We will discuss also. It was built by Adil Saha of Adil Sahi dynasty of Bijapur in the 16th century to supply water to Vijayapur in Karnataka. So guys, another famous Bawadi is 
दैट इज आवर रानी की भाव एंड इट इज लोकेटेड इन पाटन ऑफ गुजरात सो गाइज लेट सी दिस थिंग्स हाउ दे आर मेकिंग दिस बाउडी फर्स्ट इज मदर वेल द मेन वाटर सोर्स फॉर द कन्नत एंड द सेकेंड इज एक्सेस शाफ्ट एंड इट्स परमिट्स एक्सेस टू द कन्नत चैनल फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड मेंटेनेंस आफ्टर दैट द कन्नत चैनल इज देयर द कन्नत वाटर कैरिंग चैनल एंड आफ्टर दैट आउटलेट द वाटर विल बी स्टोर्ड हियर एंड आफ्टर दैट इट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू इरीगेटेड इरीगेटेड लैंड नियर बाय ओके एंड इट कैन डायरेक्टली पास टू द इरीगेटेड लैंड एज वेल सो इफ यू वॉच ए वीडियो इन यूट्यूब इट विल बी बेटर फॉर यू सो देन इज व्हाट इज करेज सिस्टम दिस करेज सिस्टम इज ए वाटर हार्नेसिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इन हुईज ग्राउंड वाटर इज ब्रॉड टू द सर्फेस बाय द टनल दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ग्राउंड वाटर इज ब्रॉड टू द सर्फेस नॉट रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग ओके इन दिस सिस्टम नो मेकानिकल पंप और लिफ्ट इज यूज ग्राविटी एलोन ब्रिंग्स द वाटर फ्रॉम द अंडरग्राउंड सोर्स ग्राविटी एलोन ब्रिंग्स इट द टेक्नोलॉजी ऑरिजिनेटेड इन पर्सिया ईरान एंड वॉज वाइडली यूज ड्यूरिंग द मेडिएवल पीरियड then discuss about world monument fund world monuments fund is a private non profit organization funded in the 1965 by individuals concerned about the accelerating destruction of the important artistic treasure treasures throughout the world this world monuments watch is there another organization and it is a biennial selection program of art risk cultural heritage sites that combine great historical significance with contemporary social impact it is a nomination based program that uses cultural heritage conservation to empower communities and improve human well being it was launched in 1995 on the occasion of 30th anniversary of world monuments fund and anyone can nominate this is very important anyone can nominate a site of the world monuments watch including private individuals and representatives of civil society organizations community groups government agencies educational institutions or other entities so one question was asked in 2019 prelims what is common to the places known as aliyar isapur and kangsabati the answer is water reservoirs okay because recently the due to the climate change impact this water conservation techniques and this traditional way of uh, water harvesting is very very important please uh, when the news will be there have a vigil on that let's move to the next issue that is guru nanak dev guys guru nanak dev gautam buddha uh, Mah- uh, mahavir jain and after that kabir they are very very important from our upsc points of view their philosophies they are also shankaracharya and ramanuja also their philosophies they are uh, i mean literatures they are very very important so why it was in news because 550th birth anniversary of guru nanak dev was there in uh, the sikh community so guru nanak dev jayanti is observed to celebrate the birth of guru nanak dev uh, in 1469 to 1539 who is the first of the 10 sikh gurus and the founder of sikhism he advocated the nirguna that is devotion to and worship of formless divine form of bhakti and guys in comment box mention who is the uh, proponent of saguna bhakti because there are two kinds of bhakti one is nirguna one is saguna okay i am giving a hint it may be sankracharya it may be ramanuja please mention in the comment box who is the proponent of saguna bhakti so the uh, mean guru nanak dev he rejected sacrifices ritual baths image worship austerities and the scriptures of both hindus and muslims and he organized his followers into a community he set up rules for the con- uh, congregational worships Uh, that is sangat involving co- uh, collective recitation so the fifth preceptor guru arjun 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 dev compiled guru nanak dev's hymns along with those of his four successors 
and other religious poets like Baba Farid, Ravi Das, also known as Rai Das, and Kabir in the Adi Granth Sahib. So these hymns called Gurbani are composed in many languages. In the late 17th century, the 10th preceptor Guru Gobind Singh, it is very important, Guru Gobind Singh was the 10th Guru of Sikhism, included the compositions of the 9th Guru, Guru Tegh Bahadur, and this scripture was called Guru Granth Sahib. We cover two Granth Sahib, one is Adi Granth Sahib, and second is Guru, Guru Granth Sahib. Guru Granth Sahib was composed by Guru Gobind Singh and Adi Granth Sahib already mentioned. Okay, so let's move to the next issue that is Kartarpur Corridor. Guys, this Kartarpur Gurudwara is the revered shrine about 4 km across the border where Guru Nanak Dev spent the last 18 years of his life. Guru Nanak Dev, they can ask in prelim whether it is Guru Nanak Dev or Guru Gobind Singh or Arjun Dev etc. The corridor was built to commemorate 550th birth anniversary celebrations of Guru Nanak Dev, founder of Sikhism. Okay, so always remember that Guru Nanak Dev uh, did not create the religion of Sikhism. The religion of Sikhism later came, the, con the concept came later. Okay, so he just proponent the idea of different things like, you know, uh, uh, happy living with a community, uh, fraternity, brotherhood, liberty, these things they, uh, he propagated. Okay. The Kartarapur corridor connects the Darbar Sahib Gurdwara in Narawal district of Pakistan with the Dera Baba Nanak Shrine in Gurdwaspur district in India's Punjab province. The agreement will be facilitated because the agreement unanimously agreed between India Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan. This agreement will facilitate visa-free movement of Indian pilgrims who would just need a permit to cross over the Pakistan. Either party can terminate the agreement at any time by giving notice of one month to the other party of its intention to terminate this agreement. Also, the pact could be suspended in case of exigency or persistent violation of its provisions. So guys, let's discuss. Here is the Kartarpur corridor in Pakistan. Okay. So and here is our uh, Dera, Bab, Dera Baba Nanak Sahib. It is in India and uh, it is uh, 4 km distance and Ravi river is here. Okay. So remember this Ravi river is very very important. So let's move to the next issue that is Soch Nirmal Tat Abhiyan. So it will be conducted by Union Ministry of Environment forest and climate change to strive to make coastal areas across country clean and to create awareness amongst citizens about the importance of coastal ecosystems so as to save marine creatures from plastic waste, industrial effluents and other harmful substances. Environment Education Division of the MOEFCC and Society of Integrated Coastal Management. This is very very important. Society of Integrated uh, Coastal Management that is Sikkim. Remember it. Under the aegis of ministry will be responsible for the overall coordination for drive in 50 beaches. State nodal agencies for eco clubs will facilitate the week-long intensive cleanliness drive in all 10 states or union territories. So the last issue is facts box. That is Indo-Pacific Ocean Initiative for a safe and secure maritime at the East Asia Summit. The initiative aims to achieve this by creating the partnerships among interest, interested states by sustainably using marine resources. The initiative is considered by the experts as an incremental step to the Sangrila Dialogues. I am mentioning in brief about what is Sangrila Dialogue. Guys, the Sangrila Dialogue is a track one intergovernmental security forum held annually by independent think tank. What is the name of that think tank? That is International Institute for Strategic Studies which is attended by defense ministers, 
permanent heads of uh, ministries and military chiefs of 28 asia pacific states and guys in comment box mention where is the location of the sangrila hotel where the dialogue takes place mean which country it located so mention in the comment box in this fact was japan australia and thailand support the initiative already and many more asian countries are expected to express their support to initiative in uh, in the near future for the today this much have a nice day take care